So, welcome to my small playlist about expert development. In this playlist we will mainly do some small CTF challenges and um, some expert edu uh, educational stuff, some exploit exercises. And for our first exercise we will do the ProStar machine. And I, really, I would really suggest to check it out yourself first and try it yourself and then I'm here to watch the video. I think that way you will learn the most. But I really want to keep these videos short, so let's ju just uh, jump right into it. And for this first uh, video, we will just um, solve this stack zero. So as we can see, we have a really small program here. We have a main function and we have a local variable modified and a local variable buffer here. As we can see, modified gets initialized to zero right here. And then uh, we have a call to gets. Um, as you might or might not, might not know, um, gets doesn't really check the length. It just treats this buffer as a pointer and thus we can um, just read as many bytes as we want into the buffer. And as we can see here, uh, modified um, gets um, gets put first on the stack and then uh, the buffer, and thus we can override um, this variable. And this is exactly what we will do. First, we will. log in into um, our machine and the credentials are user and user and my IP is this one right here. So now we will navigate to the program, which is right here. Stack zero. Um, which doesn't exist, of course, because we are not in the right directory. And now we um, are here at the gets call. Now, as we can see, um, the buffer is um, 64 um, bytes in size, so we have to provide at least um, 65 um, bytes to override um, modified to make it unequal zero, um, which would make this condition here true, and we would have solved the challenge. So all we really got to do is provide more characters than 64, which we should have by now. And as you can see, we have um, modified the variable. Okay, that's it for um, this video and yeah, see you next time.